Seth Brown last night knocked in both the A's runs. That's how they won the game 2-1 over Baltimore. For Seth Brown this year, he's already at 11 RBI in his first dozen games. Last year, he hit 20 homers shooting, 10 in the first half, 10 in the second half. But it was that second half where he was playing a little bit more, regularly, I should say, and also upped his batting average. Is that the missing piece for him? We know he's going to hit dingers. We know he's going to drive teammates in. Is it all about hitting for average for him? I think it's all about, once again, being Seth Brown. Uh, do what has gotten you here. This dude is a thug in the batter's box. I mean, he's got this arrogant competition about him that he believes in himself. He gets an opportunity. He's going to take advantage of it because in order for him to get where he has gotten today, he's had to be a hitter. I mean, you look at him, he doesn't remind you of this great athletic looking cat, but everywhere you see this dude is coming up with big time play. Yeah, but the swing is so smooth. And I've always wondered, is it only because he's a lefty? Like if we mirror imaged him, right? If we made him a right hand hitter, would the swing still be so slick looking? I mean, he just has a nice, effortless looking swing. He makes contact. Uh, he barrels up baseballs. He drives them in the gap. And obviously, he can hit them over the fence and make it look easy. Well, what makes it look easy is he still has a little drag, but he has a lot of extension in his swing. And if you look at him, he uses his lower half so well. I mean, this is a guy that is a slugger, but he looks hitterish in the box. Yeah. And you would think that he would probably hit for more average. But the one thing that I don't want him to do is sacrifice the things that help him do damage. There are some guys that have a little angle in their swing that you want them to lift it up there and try to hit it as far as they can. But then there are guys that need to make adjustments so they can make more consistent contact. That way they can utilize the whole field and pretty much set the table for guys like Seth Brown. It's also a crowded outfield in Oakland, let's be honest. I could name five players right now who would like to be in there on a regular basis getting at bats you've obviously got the emergence of christian pache you're going to get ramon laureano back from suspension at the end of this month at the same respect i mean you got to find a spot for seth brown to play either dh'ing or probably in the outfield as the great ken maka used to say oh wow the players make out the lineup <laughs> and that's that, the that's, bottom line. That's pretty good right there. <laughs> He'll play his way into it. Do you have any more Ken Maka for us? <laughs> well, Brody, I remember that one.